Hey guys, it is Courtney here. Welcome back to our channel. This is actually future me editing this back. And I'm just going to go ahead and warn you, this vlog is a little bit all over the place. I completely had every intention of doing like a full on get ready with me for my baby shower that I had this past weekend. I was going to do like a baby shower haul, show you my outfit, things like that. Honestly, the day was just super, super crazy. I was able to get clips of me doing my makeup. I got one or two clips of the shower so y'all could see what it looked like. But really just enjoyed the moment. We were so blown away and blessed with everybody's generosity. We came home. My parents actually came over for dinner that night and helped us unload everything. And honestly, the amount of stuff we were given was just very overwhelming. I didn't feel like I needed to sit down and show every individual thing. And honestly, we spent the next day putting everything away and organizing everything. So there's not gonna be like a formal haul. I did go ahead and take like a still shot picture just of everything that we got so you could kind of see and like pictures of all the diapers and things like that. But I didn't actually do a haul. Um, I do go ahead and show you guys my diaper bag just because I had it right beside me when I was filming that portion of the video. And then it's going to go into our visit with our high-risk pregnancy doctor on Tuesday. Logan was able to come with me to that appointment. I come back home later that day, kind of go through everything. And basically, we left that visit thinking that we were done with the high-risk pregnancy doctor. She had said to ask my OB in Alabama if he wanted us to continue to see her or if he just wanted to continue to take over care week to week. So we left that appointment thinking one thing, and I filmed that whole update. And then I saw my doctor today here in Alabama, and he kind of had a different idea of what he would like us to do moving forward. So it's going to kind of seem all over the place, and I apologize for that. So basically, you'll see me getting ready for the baby shower. You will see me go to the appointment down in Florida, and then it's going to kind of cut back to the update from today's visit with my doctor and yeah, basically that is it. I was going to go ahead and show you guys the outfit that I did wear to the baby shower. I got this dress. Off of the website Shein. It was very cute. And to be honest, I ordered this knowing that every single weekend here in Alabama in the month of January was somewhere in like the low to mid 60s. And so I got a short sleeve, looser fitting dress. I'm not really liking anything tight on my belly. And so I kind of figured this would be great for a mid-afternoon shower. Well, joke was on me because the high of the day of my baby shower was 43 degrees and windy. So I was freezing this day. Luckily, my stuff was inside. But as far as like going from the car to the shower and things like that, it was very, very cold. But that's what my dress looked like. And then I actually thought with the dress, it'd be really cute if I wore my wedding shoes. Um, I do have those with me. These were the shoes that I wore on my wedding day. They are actually Kate Spade Keds and their platform. So this is the shoe that I wore on my wedding day when I was pre-pregnancy weight. <laughs> I won't share that number on the internet, but when I was pre-pregnancy weight without swollen ankles, Y'all, it was hilarious. I was putting these on last minute. My ankles were swelling over the edges of the shoe. I wasn't even able to lace the top one and Logan had to help force my foot into these shoes. They were very tight on my feet the entire shower and it was slightly uncomfortable, but the outfit all in all was cute. I just thought it was funny that I literally could not get my shoes on to get out the door. And the day of my shower, the high was 43 when the whole rest of the month had been in the mid 60s on the weekend. So, you know, joke was on me, but it was just such a fun day. But we're going to go ahead and I will show you the little clips of me getting ready for my shower. And then you will see us go to our appointment in Florida.
I guess one thing I can show you just because I have it out is I did go ahead and get my diaper bag, which I'm so excited about. I love this bag. I think it is beautiful. Not by any means is this like my favorite gift that I got or anything. Cause like I said, we got so much and we were just so blessed, but I just have this right beside me so I can show you, but I did go ahead and get my diaper bag. It's big. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's called the Huggle Boo. But it's on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I think that this is absolutely beautiful. It has pretty straps and leather detailing. It has like a magnetic thing for wipes. It has a changing pad in it. But yeah, that is my diaper bag. It's really pretty. Good morning. Hey, everybody. We are here in Crestview for what we hope is our last visit. Last visit. With the high risk pregnancy doctor. If you missed the last video, our baby literally gained a pound in 16 days because she's a trooper. And um, so we are hoping that this is our last visit with the high risk doctor, our last hour and a half drive, because it's starting to just, get old. We may just have to make it that last visit regardless. <laughs> yeah, so we are here. Um, Logan hasn't been down here since the appointment. Yeah, the one that didn't go very the well. The bad appointment. Uh -huh. So we're hoping for a better time today. Hopefully he does not jinx us. <laughs> um, but we are here. We are in line at Starbucks. We're going to get some food really fast and then head in. And some to caffeine. The yeah, caffeine for sure. Um, and hopefully head in for our last visit, but I guess we will see y'all inside. So, welcome. Deuces. Okay, so we are back home now from our doctor's appointment. I actually dropped Logan off at work. He was going to go ahead and work the afternoon. So, it is just me reporting back about the visit today. It went really, really well. We did go ahead and have our ultrasound. When I told her, you know, about my previous ultrasound here in Alabama and that we were given the weight two pounds, five ounces, she instantly said, well, if we give you a different figure today, like, don't be con too concerned about that. She said basically what they do is they measure everything three times and then they just take an average of that. And so the weight that they give you is just kind of an average range based off of other averages that they've taken. She said that that can all be dependent upon baby's positioning, how good of a picture they get to measure that specific thing. So while we were at the visit today, they estimated her weight at two pounds, two ounces, which is only about three ounces off from the last visit. At first, when we got that figure, we were like, oh, that's a little bit lower. What's going to happen with the appointment? Um, our provider spent so much time with us today. We are 100% good with her. She was just so sweet. And I'm glad that Logan got to talk to her and ask her some questions as well. She said that our goal now, that we know that she's, quote, growth restricted and smaller weight, said basically our only thing that we're watching is to make sure that she is not in distress and that she continues to have progressive growth. So she said basically our goal every time that we do one of these growth scans is for her to gain 150 grams and from the last visit that I saw her to this visit she gained 300 grams. Doubled that goal. She did great. So she said you know that would be considered positive. We can keep her in a little bit longer. So everything looked great with Lila today. Super active. Heartbeat was great. Fluid level still looked good. Blood flow was good. We did go ahead and talk and she was 100% fine with me transferring care just here to Alabama every week. So that's just so great. She did say if we'd like to come back in the next three weeks, since I'll be close to that 34 week mark that we could do that if we wanted, but she was perfectly fine with us not wanting to do that. She did say that at the 34 week mark, yes, go ahead and start discussing a birth plan. Typically most growth restricted babies that are in this category, they do like to go ahead and deliver at 37 weeks. That's typically when they like to take them out, maybe get them in the NICU for a day or so if they need that and just, you know, continue to watch them and make sure that they can function on the outside world. So basically she said that Lila will be here sometime in March. Um, if all continues to go according to plan, whether that's, you know, at 34 weeks when we talk about it, whether that's, you know, letting her stay until 37 weeks, it's going to be March. When we first started this journey, it was, you know, they told us that there was a chance that she might not survive since she was so tiny and, you know, we might have to deliver before we're at 28 weeks. And now here we are saying that she's probably definitely going to make it to at least 34. And so it's just been such a crazy journey, but we're so thankful. I'm just so thankful that we're here. We're finally not having to go to Florida anymore. So we're just really thankful for that.
So here I am. I had an ultrasound and appointment with my OB here in Alabama today. Ultrasound was fine. Everything looks completely 100% the same. You just saw me talk about how we were released from our high-risk pregnancy doctor and how she told me that if I would like to come back in a month just to, you know, check back with her, then that was more than okay. She wanted me to check with my doctor here in Alabama where we live. So I did see him today. Things still looks fine. He did say with her being in the smaller weight category, he would like me to go back down to Florida in two weeks for another growth scan. At that point, I will be 31 and a half, very close to 32 weeks. And he would like her to do the growth scan every two weeks at this point, and then still do the weekly scans with him to make sure baby is never in distress. The reason that he wants to do that, I said before that we were choosing our facility in Florida based on their NICU. And if whenever the time for Lila to come is, and she is under a certain weight, or if she is before that 34 week period, just because, you know, I have said it can continue to change week to week, which is why they're monitoring her. He said that he would really prefer to have the high risk pregnancy doctor's input and an extra set of eyes on the growth. Just in case something were to happen, he would really like her involved in the plan up until Lila is born. So no, literally nothing is wrong and nothing has really changed. He's still confident that she's not going to be here within the next couple weeks or anything like that. Just as long as she continues to progressively grow, he just wants another set of eyes on it to where if something did change, I wasn't having to be re-referred back to her. He just didn't want me to never see her again before we had reached a point where he would be comfortable delivering Lila here in Alabama. Nothing bad happened. He's not uncomfortable or like contradicting the doctor. Everything does look great. He just basically wants an extra set of eyes on her, continuing to monitor her, and also to have her expertise and her NICU at hand if something were to happen. Of course, we're a little disappointed about having to go back, but after this last visit, we love our doctor in Florida. We are more than fine going back to see her for a scan. And honestly, at this point, nothing is surprising me. Nothing is surprising Logan. It's all about Lila at this point. Whatever is best and healthiest and safest for her to come into this world, then, you know, we are fine. But he did confirm she will be born before or at 37 weeks, which means we are today, as I'm filming this, 51 days away or less from meeting our baby girl, which will really just put things in their perspective for you. It is crazy. We're going to really start to get things ready now. Um, but yeah, she'll definitely be here in March, according to both doctors. But yeah, I just wanted to give that little bit of an update because I'm sure what I just told you guys previously that we thought that we were done with Florida, you know, he would just like another set of eyes on her, which it's always better to be cautious and safe. So we are perfectly fine with that. So I didn't want y'all to be confused in the next time that we go to Florida, why we were going back, if she had released us as needed. Once again, she did want me to ask him about his opinion, and he'd like us to go back. So we are all good. I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm going to jump back to the outro of the video, and I just wanted to give you all an update. So I guess we will see you in the next video next week, and thank you all for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload. Bye, guys. See you later.